The prison trucks pull in just before eight and unload their youthful looking cargo. They are shackled and disorientated. They look out of place, but the government says they're enemies of the state. They stand accused of protesting or looting or disturbing the peace, and the authorities have rounded up hundreds of people this week. Their relatives queue up just around the corner at Harare Central Magistrate's Court, but they are unlikely to get a seat. This aging structure wasn't designed for mass trials. Why are you here today, Anastasia? Yeah, my husband and my son have been taken. They have been taken by those uh, riot police. My husband was in the field and my son was fetching water. So they just came and they just grabbed them, start to eat them and they put them in the truck. They never said anything. Joyce Sibunda is here to see her granddaughter, Cynthia, one of dozens of juveniles, children, who've been arrested and detained. <laughs> These allegations are not uncommon, and Zimbabwe's courts are now trying these children as adults. Lawyer Job Sakala is representing 18 minors in court, but he says there isn't much he can do for them. Are you surprised that you are in a position where you are defending juveniles? Oh, absolutely. The, the rule of law has been thrown through the window. Even the, the way how the proceedings are taking place in our courts are clearly demonstrating that the rule of law has now been overthrown. Some of the evidence that are being brought to this court as exhibits are not only laughable, but it's absolutely shocking. We are living under a serious dictatorship. The world thought that Mugabe was a dictator, but the current dictator is worse off than Robert Mugabe. We went to visit Mrs. Subunda in one of Harare's outer suburbs. And she showed us what the military did to her house last week. That's your door. We also met her 16-year-old granddaughter, Cynthia. She's been released on bail after collapsing three times in prison. How do you feel about this? Cynthia, who asked not to be identified, says the entire experience has been terrifying. I was scared in the prison because from Monday to Wednesday I didn't eat anything. They didn't give us food there. Do you think things will go back to normal? Sometimes I don't, because each and every day they say the court should go further, 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 further. And this is terrible and terrible. People here are afraid of the authorities, and they aren't far away. The community police station now resembles a military base, and the rules don't seem to apply to them. John Sparks, Sky News in Harare.